All right, y'all. So in one of my last videos, somebody in the comment section asked me, does the relationship gossip drama um, reaction channel type of thing, does that actually pay good money here on YouTube? So I wanted to help you all kind of understand RPMs and, and how much money you all can make from specific content and, and things like that, because I do have real, actual, real life experience making money in multiple different genres here on the platform. I've been in entertainment, like I've been in the whole relationships, drama, gossip type of stuff specifically. So yeah, I can, I can actually speak from personal experience and knowledge. And actually my new course that I created, which is gonna be linked at the top of the description, that course I'll be dive, I dive directly into my analytics. I show you all the the um the views. I show you all how exactly I got to the views and everything. So I literally break that down in my course. So that's definitely worth checking out. And it's the best part about it is it's upgradable. I can constantly add more points and more topics into that course. So right now I believe that it's already worth the value. But I'm just going to like super stack content in there to make it like op for the price point so yeah that being said anyway um if you all want to see the actual figures and numbers and see with your own eyes i can show you all that um in the you know in my course but as far as just me speaking on it and telling you all some of what i've seen from my own experiences um in gaming finance um entertainment we're gonna jump into it so as far as the gossip con content the niche does fairly well. Um, I've seen something, I've seen some things pretty impressive, like certain things pay more than others. Usually if it's a YouTuber, unless they're a really, really hot YouTuber, you're gonna get around three to five dollar range. You're, well, actually just YouTubers in general is like a three to five dollar range. You get a three to five dollar CPM, um, or, or RPM, and yeah, like it's like, it's not, you know, it's not crazy. You get three to five bucks per thousand views. And it adds up if you're if you're putting out a lot of content, if you're grinding. And the best part about reactions is you can actually put out a lot of content. There's no limit on how much you can put out. Now, some game that you all might not know about the content that you're putting out is YouTube only sends out three notifications a day. So depending on the size of your channel, if you don't want to annoy your subscribers, you can actually, you know, put out three videos. You can put out three videos. It's gonna send the um it's gonna send those notifications out. And then any videos after those three videos, it doesn't even get sent out but it still goes through the algorithm properly so literally you can post your three videos have those three videos sent to your audience and then post as many videos as you want after that and it's just going to go through the algorithm behind the scenes where it goes to to people who are not even subscribed to you if, if people see those videos they're not going to be people that subscribe to you i mean sometimes people who are subscribed to you and checking your channel they could still see the content but it's not youtube isn't going to go out of their way to send it out to your audience so that's that's kind of a good thing. You, the way YouTube system works, it's hard to annoy your audience with with a flood of content. So, meaning, grind. You can grind. You're free to grind. But that being said, um, basically in the it's three to five dollars if you're talking about a YouTuber. I was posting some Diddy content. Obviously, P Diddy is a big topic right now because of the case and everything against him. One thing that was pretty interesting about that is P Diddy and Woody. I don't know if you all have heard of Woody. Uh. P Diddy content was about seven, around seven dollars. So I think that, that five to seven dollars. So that was kind of a boosted CPM. I also saw Woody, um, you know, Woody the Charleston White two v twos and stuff like that, or two v twenty girls and stuff like that. Um, Woody is actually he's he's paying pretty well right now. Charleston White is paying well as far as CPM. That's around eight dollars right now, I believe, which is pretty good. That's actually. Um, it's actually rivaling finance, like some of some finance. Well, actually, finance can get up there, but yeah, it's it's rivaling finance right now. Um, so yeah, certain people that's just insanely popular. I think YouTube kind of gives them special treatment and favoritism, and they give them the good ads because you know that's that's bringing in all the tra traffic and views right now. So the the sponsors need to be put placed on those videos. So, you know, the, the sponsor can get the highest quality bang for their buck. So that's why you that's how YouTube goes about it. If you're really, really lit where you're like drawing in a million views every video. Yeah, the YouTube is going to bless you. So, yeah, th those see those RPMs and stuff. They're rivaling actual finance channels and, and some in some capacity. Um, when it comes down to uh, when it comes down to like the gaming niche, it really depends on the game and where the audience is located. 
because if a game is popular in America, it's going to pay a, a lot more than a game that's popular in Asia. So if you're the 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 location is very very important. People in Asia don't have as much money in, as as people in America. So um, advertisers aren't really paying a lot of money for people who have an Asian audience. So like I have a channel with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and um, the audience is is mainly Asian. But so I have more Asian subscribers, but the majority of the people who make up the income are the American subscribers, and that's just how much the difference is in the pay. So if let's say if ten thousand people watch one of my video, and 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 like five hundred to one thousand of them are from America, that is going to make up the majority of the income for that video. That's how huge the difference actually is. So um, the game definitely does matter. If you play a game that's that's bigger in the Western side of things, you're going to get paid more. Um, so yeah, that content like that, and then the reaction does, doesn't really matter. You react into a certain content creator, you're going to get the same CPMs and RPMs as that as that content creator, as that person would on the platform. So it like for instance, I I, re, I recently covered a, a content creator and and on my finance channel, he's a pretty big um, guy in the finance space. I actually got to, uh, to see a look at what his his um, RPMs was because. I got paid for the video I made about him recently, and I could see that yo, this guy's at nine dollars. This guy, this guy, he he makes nine dollars on his video because me just talking about him makes nine dollars. So you kind of you get pushed to where his fans are, and then you that's how you kind of see. So that's how the algorithm works. So you you get pushed to where your video belongs. So you're it's like every category of video makes a certain amount of money. So when you see a reaction channel. Don't think that, oh, that's a reaction channel. Reaction channels make X amount of dollars. No, depends on what they're reacting to. If, you have, if you're a reaction channel reacting to finance content, you're making finance money. If you're a reaction channel reacting to Asian things, you're making Asian money, which isn't much on YouTube. If you're a reaction channel reacting to YouTubers, you're, you're in the three to five range. So reaction channels, like certain channels, you're going to be getting paid based on the niche that you're reacting to. If you can and you're lucky enough and fortunate enough to be able to react to anything and people like to see your content, you're going to get paid per video, whoever you're talking about, unless you have your own core audience and you're really lit to the point where you have a set type of RP RPMs and pretty much it's still the same thing. It just really is gonna average out for you based on how much content you're uploading in one niche versus another niche. And then it's just gonna take your average RPM and it's, that, it's just gonna average out. So if you do a lot of finance content and then you can sprinkle in some gaming here or there, those three those three to five dollar um, RPMs and stuff, it's not going to overpower the fact that you do a bunch of finance content. So you're, you're, it's, you're gonna be higher. You're gonna be a lot higher in terms of what you're actually making. So that being said, Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. Um, if you have questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I can make more videos on these topics. Uh, I'm I'm on the grind, man. So I, I will drop more content for you all. I do have my course. And like I said, the course is going to show you all some serious behind the scenes, stats, analytics, everything that I used to become who I am and get where I am today. So yeah, I, I really deep dive. I really deep dive my channels and I'm open to deep diving even more. If people have specific questions after you join, if you have specific questions and it's not it's not a um, subscription or anything like that. You pay one time, you have access forever. That's it. So if you have questions and stuff and want me to dive into a certain area of the analytics or something like that, I can also do that for y'all. So yeah, that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Um, be sure to check out the um, course if you'd like. Recommend me some other ideas that you want me to cover. And um, yeah, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.